Hello fellow steamers and Jensen enthusiasts, St. Paul Steam here with uh, my latest creation. I call it my Jensen J42, kind of based loosely on the Empire Steam B42. I thought uh, Jensen needed their own model. It uh, features two Jensen number 35 steam engines on one common firebox. Uh, the firebox measures 6 and 7 16 inch by 5 and a half inches has several layers of high temperature paint on the firebox and has two 450 watt 4 amp heaters, one under each boiler just like it would be. Two chimney stands and stacks and one has a hole to lead on the back. Uh, the firebox has all the nuts soldered into the underside of the lip and the center bar on the firebox is an eighth inch thick and tapped for all bolts. The three quarter inch thick base is nine and a half inch square and one engine has been reversed and pocket threaded lugs soldered in. They can't leak. It has a nickel plated crossover manifold with banjo screws in the rear on that bar to balance the boilers and provide a place for the pressure gauge. The old style SV has been converted into an adjustable safety valve now and both older style sight glasses completely rebuilt. Insulated Jensen style under the boiler with heat shield and the boiler is completely insulated with flame proof strips under the boiler and under the boiler bands. Heavy duty grounded 316 gauge cloth cord with white tracer and new old stock three prong plug and it has several layers of high temperature paint on the firebox. She weighs seven pounds two ounces with all the water. And let's take a little look around. Now let's take a little closer look. I'll be right back. Okay. I've used as much Jensen components as I could. There's the manifold. And those are banjo type screws. Just take a close look at that. That is a new brass tag. It says J42, 900 watts, 8 amps. So I removed one of the holes under that. Chimney support. The paint really came out slick. All right, in a minute we're going to fire it up and watch it run. Be right back. All right, she's starting to come up to pressure a little bit. Usually one of them engines start going. There we go. <clears throat> they do run independent of each other. And voila. I'm going to turn the juice reducer down. Let's 
Take a shot of money. I can only go so far because of the cord. Jensen 35 is not a cheap engine. It's a worthwhile engine to uh, make something into. Well, this video is long enough. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye. Now.